What's up guys? My name is TJ Cockrell and welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you guys are tuning in today. Um, y'all, <laughs> do you see what I got on? Do y'all, do you, do you see this 32 inch wig by the Butter Lace Collection, okay? I was excited to try this wig. It has the highlights and I was looking for the highlights for the summer. Now usually you don't really go for long in the summertime. Typically, I'm gonna say typically, but girl, I wanted to try it out and I'm so loving this, okay? Um, I got the baby hairs popping a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Tuck it back or keep it to the front. Um, this hair was, oopsie. I'm going to be all the way real with y'all. This is how the hair feels. So I did run a flat iron through, um, but I'm, I'm going to tell you more about it. So just stay tuned. Kick it with your girl. Let's have some fun. Don't forget to love this video, you guys. Show me some love in the comment section and go ahead and send this off to your girls. She going to love this. I, I promise you. All right. All right. Let's get started. This is the Butter Lace um, Sensational Collection. This is a straight 32 inch, and this is in a color. I mess this, I mess it up every time. <laughs> Balaje, Balaje Mocha. It's like a brown with some uh, with some highlights. So, I'm excited to try this color. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. So. Okay, so right out the pack, I am loving the blonde streaks. Um, and this hair is very long. We're gonna have to straighten it just a little bit because it has the bump just from being in a box. But yes, I it's so funny. I never really go for straighter synthetic wigs because I know that it's gonna tang up a little quick. You know what I'm saying? A little quick, well, quicker than other wigs, but we're gonna have fun with her. Here's what the cap looks like. Okay. And then that's the middle part, straight down the middle, so you have just that part in space. Um, I guess if you wanted to shift it to the side, you could do uh, to make it a side part, you could shift it if you wanted to. You know what I'm saying? But the lace is pretty light, so we're gonna go ahead and spray it to make it match my skin tone, and then do the baby hairs, and we're gonna be finished. This cap does come with the adjustable straps in the back, as well as a few combs. So if you want to use those, you definitely can. So I'm gonna take my lace tint, which is from from the wig dealer. It's in the color the shade Honey. Um, and I just kind of spray it and layer it on the lace. So we're just gonna spray it. Okay, since we already have the wig off, I usually do this afterwards, but I'm gonna try to do it now. I'm gonna take my lace tint in the color brown i believe um and i'm just going to take a little brush okay and then powder put the powder on the brush and just put it in the inside of the cap around the perimeter of the wig so just where you see any lace i'm just going to add just a little bit more powder because i know i usually do this like i usually do this after i put the cap on you know towards the end but i just kind of want to see how it will look since I still got the cap off and I just thought about it. So we're gonna see. Also, this powder, I forget, is it by Kiss? Yeah, it smells like coconut. Huge fan, huge fan, you guys. Y'all knew what y'all were doing with the scents. I'm just gonna say that. Okay, here we go. This is so cute. All right, so I kind of combed or brushed out one side of the hair and it is so long. Next, we are going to push some of this hair back um, and I'm going to clip it to get it out of our faces and then we're going to go ahead and cut this lace a little bit. I'm gonna push this back and then we're gonna just spray in front of my hairline. So the product I'm using today is the olive oil wig spray, the, the castor oil. Now I usually use the wig dealer spray, um, but I'm trying to see what this says. I think I've used it like once or twice and I like this. So I'm gonna try it one more time 
and um hopefully it does what it does and we're just gonna spray in front of the hairline And the reason I use spray is because I usually take my wigs off every night. Um, just try to preserve them and keep it from getting, um, you know, tangled up because synthetic wigs are pretty plastic. <laughs> and so you want it to make it sure it lasts. Um, so now we're going to take our blow dryer, spray it down on cool, and then we're going to slide that wig back up to the front. Alright, so we have the wig down, just want to press on it. I actually take my, the end of my, um, what is this called, <laughs> my edge brush, and I just kind of push it in, and then I'm going to pull some a little baby hairs out. You don't have to, I'm a baby hair fan, but this also helps my hair to stay down. Okay, so now that I have some baby hairs pulled out, I'm going to spray one more time around the perimeter of the lace and just kind of push it in with my finger. And then we're going to tie it down for like five minutes and we should be secure for the day. Now, if you want a longer lasting spray or glue, um, I recommend, I got the castor oil. Okay, you can use the castor oil. oil. Um, and then also the wig dealer does have a, it has a wig glue which is their extra hole lace glue and it's really good i don't want to use this on my synthetic because like i said i take mine off but that human oh or even synthetic you can but that human oh for sure use that one all right we're gonna take our band and we're gonna tie it around and uh let it sit for like five minutes Okay, so we are going to do some baby hair. Um, like I said, you don't have to, but I love some baby hairs. So, I'm going to pull this back one more time. Alright, so I'm going to first cut down my baby hair. And this is actually my first time I'm going to try to do like the flat iron your baby hair first. And then, you know, slick them. So, pray for me. Okay, so the flat irons I'm using is Red by Kiss. It's the pencil titanium styler and it's got like little, little slim slam, right? So I'm going to just, without burning myself, right? Are you supposed to flip it up or out? <laughs> I should have watched some more tutorials. Yeah, this is funny. If you flip it up, I'm not even gonna hold you. I think it just burnt my baby hair. How do y'all do this? Oh, snap, it just burnt my baby hair. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. Oh, y'all. I'm gonna turn this back off. <laughs> okay, that thing got way too hot, way too fast. It don't have no uh, up and down buttons. That's ghetto, but use this for your human hair. It's gonna get you right. Okay, well, plan B. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to use the, I'm gonna use the olive oil uh, styling gel and I'm gonna put on the baby hair so this is what I usually know what I'm doing like I know how to do this slick slick I got you I just wanted to be like everybody else. see this is what you get for trying to be like everybody else I'm trying to see what the what the whole spill is about with the baby hair with the it's all good all right so hit your baby hair up with some gel or you can do foam or mousse or whatever you use and want to slick it out I have a thing of making my baby hair too long. That's just me, and I, that's just kind of how I do it. 
but you could do it different ways. And because I always make them too long, I just kind of slick them inside the hair. And like I said, I'm a fan of big baby hair. So if it's too long for, you know, if this is too long for you, always make it shorter. You can always cut it. But don't forget, you can't put them back. Alright, so our baby hairs are finished. Like I said, I like bigger baby hair, so I'm cool with this. Now I'm going to take this powder and apply it to the perimeters of my lace. So anywhere you see lace, I'm just going to hit it up with this powder to make sure it matches my skin tone. Also, while we're here, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll be on Facebook too. Instagram and actually TikTok. I'm about to get back active on TikTok. But for sure, Instagram. I'll be over there posting um, for the week. I do a lot of reels. And I just have fun. Come kick it with your girl. All right, perfect. You're going to flat iron the hair. Like I said before, I'm going to flat iron it. But I also want to make this a little flatter with my hot comb. So I'm using my hair slick stick on the top of my hair just to help with the flyaways if I have any. Which is weird that this, this wig doesn't even have any. So that's actually really good. But I'm going to put this on here. And it's going to help with that. Okay, now I'm just going to take like five sections or, you know, a couple sections and just flat iron it just to make sure it is straight, straight because this hair is long and we just want it to look bone straight, okay? I'm just going to pass it through. Make sure your flat iron isn't too hot. This look good. I'm so hyped about this color, y'all. All right, so as you guys can see, this is the flat ironed versus non flat ironed. All right, you guys, so this is the final look. This hair is gotta be one of my top fives. I know I haven't worn it, but just from like the initial look. But it's turned out so pretty, you guys. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna show y'all what the bottom looks like. So it goes like really far down, right? And like the ends look really good and not super like ugh, I hate I do not like when bottoms of wigs are like super sparse and it's like the hair's like this like what whose idea who's I don't know anyways I love this hair um, like I said it's very long the highlights are popping as y'all can see the hair is flowing um, this is a synthetic wig so I want you guys to know if y'all not used to synthetic hair let's try to keep you a paddle brush this brush has been through some things to <laughs> keep you a paddle brush or like uh, a skinny, you know, skinny tooth comb or whatever. And just kind of, you know, run it through a couple times throughout the day. Not a couple times because it's going to be worse than that. But um, while you're out and about, just to make sure you're looking good and all the way put together. Um, now, if you know me, I like to tuck my hair back a little. So I got the baby hairs for that. Um, you can do that as well. 
and yeah so cute i love uh, i'm so i'm so impressed so shout out to diva trust for hooking your girl up go check them out grab you a couple wigs they always have sales and um yeah you definitely want to catch it <laughs> so i recommend this to my home girls grab it for yourself i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if so show me some love in the comment section and don't forget to send this to your girls they all need to see this video okay and then go hang out with me on the gram instagram and also tiktok um i do a lot of reels on how to put on how to put on wigs how to style them how to um you know just make them look amazing while saving some coins so i love to just on a budget on a budget and even when y'all get the monies all the monies in the world i want you guys to remember you don't have to break the bank to look bomb okay all right, other than that, I will see you guys later. Bye.